What's up, everybody? This is Podcast Gameverse episode 0654, Saturday, March 27, 2021. I am Wasabi Ice Cream. With me, as always, my dude, Rick. What's up, Rick? Oh, yeah, what up? What up? And we got another special guest with us today. Uh, uh, the, the the resident anime bullshit expert, Uncle Dolph. <laughs> What's up? Uh, hey, I actually go by Big Daddy Dolph now. <laughs> oh, okay. You got a, a name <laughs> change. You can, like... call me, you can just call me Dolph, though. Okay. All right. How's it going? What have, uh, what have you been up to? Was it for the for those of us who don't know, who are you? Uh, I'm a, I'm a gamer. I play video games, and I also work for a living to support my hobbies. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you. <laughs> um, what uh, what have you been playing lately? Um, still playing Final Fantasy fourteen, doing doing all my dailies and that you know how it is. Nice playing, yeah. Playing Genshin Impact, probably spent a few hundred dollars on that game so far. Jesus, you gotta <laughs> you gotta get those those fucking cute anime girls on your team, you know. Yeah, yeah. Then you gotta get the then you gotta get the weapons too, so that they're good. Yeah, yeah, and all the upgrade materials and oh yeah, upgrade materials that'll just come time. Um, came out. Well, I've been uh, playing Bravely Default Two on the Switch. Oh yeah, it's so good. I've been playing that too. And I just downloaded Monster Hunter Rise. I'm not really a Monster Hunter guy, but. And I'll give it a shot. I am a huge Monster Hunter guy, and it's fucking, it's choice, dude. It's really good. Yeah, I was looking at streams by some some VTubers were playing it, and I was just watching them, and I'm like, this game's, oh, this game looks really good, and it's on the Switch. <laughs> yeah, it is really good. <laughs> like, uh, it runs, it runs way better than it has any right to. Like I was not expecting yeah. it to be as smooth as it is. It's... I was like, why does that? fucking pokemon arceus game look like shit when obviously yep. the switch is capable <laughs> of yep. running a game like this careful careful saying that because there's people around the internet who uh don't take kindly to that kind of talk yeah yeah you got so much shit for your uh your rant dude it was yeah. i still check it once in a while it's like god <laughs> <laughs> So is is Rise like would Rise be like a Monster Hunter? For, would it uh, if you didn't like Monster Hunter already? Would it convert someone who wasn't already into it? I think it depends on what you don't like about Monster Hunter. Like, if you don't like the gameplay loop of it, you know, killing monsters, upgrading your gear to kill more dangerous monsters. I mean, that's that's probably not going to change. Yeah. But if you're coming from like the older Monster Hunter games, I'm talking like old school before world with the really clunky controls and annoying movement options and you know, just backwards inventory mechanics, you'll 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 probably like this one better because it smooths out a lot of those edges. It yeah. just takes what world did and the the movement's a lot better. Like the wire bug mechanic to move around is really smooth, it's really quick. So if you didn't think Monster Hunter was smooth enough, like that was your complaint, this this will probably change your mind. Okay. Yeah, because I know I had a couple friends who were like not like I, I figured Monster Hunter World would be that for a lot of people. I mean, it kind of was with me, but like I I'd played Monster Hunter like I played all of them up till then, but just a little bit. But I got more into World than than any of those but like i don't know it seems like there was still a lot of people that was just not into it still 
I mean, the gameplay loop itself like isn't for everybody, but I I like it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's cool. the monsters are super cool. Um, I like learning their patterns and trying to to fight them more efficiently. Like I I love that stuff. So I'm into it, and Rise is just more of that, but better. Um, the game focuses more on environmental effects, like. World had some of that, you know, environmental things like bugs you can pick up that like heal you or increase your stamina. But world, but Rise mm -hmm. takes that to a new level. Like now, those stat buffs are more noticeable. So there's and there's there's a lot more of that endemic life around to buff your character during a fight. So it pushes you a lot more in that direction, which works well with the wire bug stuff because. You're zipping across the whole place like Spider-Man, so it feels really good to do it. It's just, there's a lot about that game. I can talk for hours about how that game puts everything together so seamlessly. But I've, I I got it digitally, downloaded at midnight. There was a delay, so I couldn't play it for like another three hours after it had come out. But I already dumped like, I think I'm already like 10, 11 hours into it. It's It's really, really good. I'm really happy I picked it up. All right. Yeah, I need to fix my switch because <laughs> I I, I want to play this. Well, this this is coming to PC though, so I'll probably do it eventually. That way. Do they have a release date yet on it? Do you know? Uh, there's no date, but they said it's happening, and that's all I yeah. need to know. It's like more than we ever got with like, you know, like Rockstar Games was just not even tell you shit it'll just be like hey uh red dead's coming out tomorrow for pc and you're like you motherfuckers uh <laughs> or like kingdom heart like can i just bought the entire collection and now that's coming out this week so like i'm like fuck it yeah i went to go pre-order it and then i guess i had already did at some point <laughs> <laughs> um, i've done that a couple times i've like seen games that are on sale and i'm like oh i'm gonna check it out and i like watch reviews on it like yeah this is good and by the time i finally pull the trigger steam's like oh you already have this game you fucking idiot <laughs> <laughs> um i'm checking it out right now monster hunter rise is expected to come early 2022 so maybe like another year okay so maybe the forever monster hunter rise x <laughs> The 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 second version of it's gonna come. I mean, that's about how long it took World to come to PC, right? It was about a year. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, so that's it's good, man. It's really good, and it runs way smoother than it has any right to be. It only runs at thirty, but it's it's a very s consistent thirty. Like I haven't noticed any drops. Mm -hmm. Unless shit gets like really, really crazy, but for the most part, it's smooth the whole time I'm playing. Is it more? Um, does it do more of like the classic Monster Hunter shit? Like, I'm, I'm watching this IGN review video, and they've got like regions on the map. How I remember the old ones were. So regions were still a thing, but there's no load time between them. Oh. Um, the numbers are there to like help you keep track of where you are on the map. Okay. But there's not like load times between them. Um and again the wire bug, like the regions feel a lot bigger to me. Uh not so much like more condensed, but more vertical. Like there's a lot of vertical movement in it, which is great because the wire bug like lets you run on walls and basically Spider Man around the whole place. So it feels really good to do it. Like it's it's a lot of fun, and I I don't know if I'll be able to go back if they don't bring it back in the next Monster Hunter game. I don't <laughs> think I'll be able to go back to it. Um, but it feels good, dude. It's it's so much fun. Um, they brought back some of the older Monster Hunter stuff in the sense that the weapons are a lot more unique now. Um, one thing I didn't like about World is a lot of the really early weapons, even if they were monster specific. <laughs> They still had like like let's say you had like like a bone weapon, for example. 
uh, that weapon, if you upgraded that to like a certain monster, you upgrade that bone weapon with a certain monster part. It wasn't a new weapon. It was that same weapon, but it had like a piece of fur taped to it or like a the monster shell taped to it. And that looked kind of lazy. I didn't like that. But Rise is like, nope, here's the fucking crazy weird shit that we have. Um, there's this monster you can fight. And the co- the armor looks like a cowboy outfit. And if you use dual blades, they look like dual pistols. Like that, that's okay. This weirdness that like the older Monster Hunter games had that I liked. I like those crazy looking weapons of the older Monster mm-hmm. Hunter games. Yeah. This, this definitely brings that back. All right. Um, but what yeah, about have you dope. have you played online with this yet? Yeah. Um, so I'm waiting to get really into it because my brother, like I think I told you last time, my whole family is like super into Monster Hunter. So it's like an event when a new game comes out. Like we're we got a whole group chat going specifically to like coordinate Monster Hunter games. Uh, so we're all kind of holding back from it until we can get find a time to get together to like do all the online stuff. But I did play a couple rounds just to see how the online felt, and it was great, dude. It felt smooth. I didn't notice any lag for the two missions I played through. Um, one of them, one of them, I started a mission and someone joined in. Another one from the beginning, I joined an existing party and both times felt fine. I didn't have any issues with it. Um, the voice chat though, is something that's going to drive me crazy because there's still no in-game voice chat. I got to use that fucked up like Nintendo third party oh. app or like download discord or something. There's, I heard that there's like some headsets you can just plug into the thing and it just works. If there is, I haven't seen them. Like it's just normal head, like normal headsets. You can just plug them in, and it just works. That's what I've heard. If that's a thing, I haven't seen them. To my knowledge, the only voice chat that's available is with like the Nintendo app, yeah, using yeah. Your phone, or like with Discord. Maybe it's only certain games. Yeah, at that point, at that point, like I'm just hopping on Discord. I'm not gonna go on the app to voice chat. I'll just yeah. if I need to do it on my phone, I'm on my phone on Discord. Because the app, the app only supports like three fucking games. It's like yeah. <laughs> Smash, Splatoon, and I guess this. Uh, maybe Mario Kart. I haven't, I haven't checked it yet, so I don't know. But if so it think, doesn't, like I think, like I think Fortnite. it supports like Animal Crossing. But my wife doesn't even like. My wife ha- got Animal Crossing. She plays with her sister, and she doesn't even use like the Nintendo app. She just like calls her on her phone when they're playing together. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. Well, uh, just, I don't know why the fuck Nintendo's doing that. Like, that's such a fucking. They really dropped the ball with it, dude. I don't understand, like, what it's they were Nintendo, thinking. Nintendo, dude. What do you expect? Dude, the fucking Wii U <laughs> had voice chat support. So I don't know why the fuck this game can't, or the Switch can't do it, but whatever. Um, dude, just use your phone. You have a phone, right? <laughs> God. <laughs> Everyone has a phone. <laughs> I don't want to, like, fuck around with that stuff. Like, that's what pisses me off the most. And, like, most phones... Back to the Diablo. Yeah. (laughs) Which, we're on the subject of that. (laughs) If they just announced Diablo 4 with Diablo Immortal, that would not have happened. They would not have gotten as much shit as they did. (laughs) But that's on them. Fuck, fuck, fuck Blizzard. Um, Yeah. Honestly, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, fuck Blizzard. I'm not even gonna like. I'm a huge Diablo fan. I'm not even gonna buy Diablo Four when that comes out. Fucking Activision really fucked them. Yeah, they did. They just um, don't care anymore. They don't care about the gamers. They care about the money. Yeah. But Monster Hunter Rise is good. I think everybody, if you have a Switch, go pick up Monster Hunter Rise. It's fucking. Dope. <laughs> All right. Even now, like I'm thinking about it, I just want to hurry up and get the silver with so I can go play more. It's yeah. So good. You guys got those stimmy checks? Don't say you can't afford it. <laughs> Right, there, I was uh, lucky. My brother anything. got me in my copy, so that was cool. Nice. I don't have to pay for it. Anything else? What else? Um, like Dolph, I'm still playing Bravely Default too, but that's that's taking a huge backseat now that I got Monster Hunter. Okay. But uh, that's it for me, dude. My 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 day is gonna be filled with Monster Hunter here going forward. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about that for the next couple weeks. Um. I played a little uh, Stubbs Zombie. 
Yeah, I, I caught the end of that stream. That was... <laughs> I'd never seen Stubbs a zombie before, so that was... Uh... <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'd never, uh, I'd never played it before, so I wanted to, and it's only like fifteen bucks for it's like, not bad. like twenty bucks or something. So I was like, oh, I'll, I'll grab it and just, it'll make for a good goof. I mean, it, it would be, a, it's a better goof than Balan Wonderworld, which I was also considering. That game's fucking sixty bucks, and I'm like, yeah, that game's <laughs> a fucking joke, dude. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I was like, I always get this one. It would be, you know, just a little bit of fun. Uh, this game's not good, uh, but it's not <laughs> like it's not bad either, though. It's just like it's very, uh, it's very cheesy, but, but like not like great. Uh, yeah, and there's like no point to it really. It's just you're a zombie and you're running around these levels, eating brains, and that's it. Uh, there's like no story <laughs> to it. Like you just pop out the ground, like these these couple was like having a picnic. You pop out the ground and then start eating shit, eating people, and that's it. Uh, it's like set in like a retro future, like fifties type of thing. Um, and yeah, like the more you progress, I guess you get new like new powers. So I think the last power I got was this, like you could throw your hand and like take control of uh, different enemies. So like you take control of a cop, you'll like be able to take his gun and like shoot, shoot dudes. Um, and then yeah, and then so yeah, when when you came in, Rick, there was a like a there was like a thriller joke, and then they started <laughs> dancing, and the, and then yeah, and then. And then I did this, I did this section and, uh, by the way, we do this live on twitch.tv slash game Um, and, um, I'm showing a video segment here because I don't know that so this, this cutscene played <laughs> and oh, that was so good. <laughs> And um, actually, the the animation I would say is like really good. Um, it almost looks like motion capture, but I don't think it is. Uh, but this cutscene played was explosion. I flew through the roof, and then the game crashed. And I was like, "That was know? so perfect." Yeah, <laughs> just a perfect fucking perfect. I was like, "Okay, I guess that's just. I guess we're just gonna stop there then." But um. Yeah, Dude, that was funny know. as shit. Like honestly, that was so funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I'll, if I could just say something, the dance number in that game was already better than the dance number in Battle and Wonder World. So you made the right choice. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, Stubbs a zombie. Uh, I'll probably play more of it. Like I don't know, off stream. <laughs> It's not like it's not a terrible game. It's just a good like. There's like no music in the game, uh. By the way, That's there's weird. like no sound. Like the only sound is just you, like the enemies. Which by the way, there's a like there's a there's someone in the game that sounds exactly like Hank Hill, which I was just laughing my ass off the entire time. Every time he came up, uh, he was like, "I've got a family," and I can't do the Hank Hill voice, but. He's like, I got a family and kids, or oh god, don't eat me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but like, there's like no music, so it's just like them talking shit, like it's just them saying the same voice lines over and over. A guy sounds like Hank Hill, and you just eating brains, and all your like zombie friends just making zombie noises. It's like it's like not not a lot of sounds going on. Unless you throw your hand, if you take your arm off and throw it, there's like a soundtrack that goes along with that, but that's it. There's no like normal music playing in the background. So it's like very silent. It's a very silent game for like no reason. Um, but uh, yeah, so yeah, that's uh, Stuff's a Zombie. I think check it out if you're curious about it. <laughs> it's so weird with the music though, like. They're just like just so you just play through the game. There's no like background tracks or anything like nothing, that. Like nothing. That's nothing. weird. Totally silent. 
uh, I it's, wonder if it's like a license thing because the game had a bunch of licensed music when it first came out, right? Yeah, but during this dance number, there's like license, like <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, like lollipop, that. lollipop is like playing or some shit like that. So I'm like, they <laughs> have the like this '50s soundtrack here, but they don't have it. There's nothing anywhere else. Absolutely nothing. It's not like they replaced it with something because you could just replace it, but there's just nothing. It would mess so. up the feel of a zombie game. I guess so. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. So yeah, Stubbs a zombie. It's bad, but like it's got a charm to it. So. I mean, oh, like so that would suggest someone pay twenty dollars yeah. for it. <laughs> I was just about to say. No. Well, if you're like. <laughs> I mean, if you're like curious about it, sure, but like otherwise, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I mean, I'll, I'll probably check it out one day when it's like cheaper, but not right now. I'll never um, check out that game. <laughs> uh, we got a bunch of announcements too. Uh, the indie, the Xbox Indie Showcase. At aired so there's god there's so many trailers that came out do you want to hit so, on all of these or just a couple um so this thing was like Among three hours us. long <laughs> yeah uh so like i spent all last night going through all this and fucking you know looking at all these trailers so um, you don't know what craftopia is uh, we'll get to oh, that. that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. I put, I put that. that note there. I put that note there. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll get to that. Um, yeah, I never heard about it until I saw the trailer like ten minutes ago, and I was like, "What is this?" So we'll get Exo Exo Mecca was the first trailer they showed, and they started off with a good one, I think, because this shit looks fucking insane. Yes, it does. Um, so it looks like Halo mixed with Planet Side mixed with. Call of Duty, but then there's like fucking like giant ass mech battles happening. You have like a grappling hook that you can just fucking tether yourself to something and pull yourself in. Um, it looks Dude, super early. Hook. Yeah, it does. A lot of the animations are like, yeah, very like stiff looking, but this I see the like, potential in it. This guy, this guy was like surfing on a rocket. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, I was like, what the hell is this? You can do that in Fortnite. Big deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Fortnite's like for children. <laughs> yeah. Um, this just looks fucking insane, dude. Like, I don't yeah, know. Dude. It doesn't look real, but <laughs> it kind of does. Oh, uh, like, it looks like they are doing it. So. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm into this game. Um, this is a multiplayer this looks like a multiplayer only game. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm into it, dude. Like I'm definitely playing this when that comes out. This looks fucking crazy. Yeah. God, this looks like so much fun. <laughs> so I, I don't know all the systems are they're They're doing like, I, I'm, I'm assuming most of these are going to be on game pass when they come out. Yeah. Um, but, you know what the the thing I hate is that when you when a when a console guy does their like event and shows a trailer, they only show it with the labels of their specific consoles. Yeah, it, but it could very well just be coming to like everything. So I yeah, I'll have to wait and see what they announce with it. But I'm I'm definitely watching that one. Yeah. Um, the next one they did the ascent was. That looked fucking cool too. Like, <laughs> yeah, it looked like a twin stick shooter multiplayer RPG. Um, it looked like what Contra Hard, like the Contra Rogue Core, was trying to be, but like actually good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is amazing to me. This looks cool, dude. Like, I'm I'm into it. Um, God, what is going on? Like they're like <laughs> mowing down so many things. I'm like, I think there's some innocent people in there, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, this looks like so much fun. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I can say about it. Just it looks cool. It's a trippy, like 
cyberpunk twin stick shooter RPG, and I'm that that checks off a lot of boxes for me, dude. Uh, uh, let me the show this one. game. Omno yeah. looks yeah. okay. Yeah, I don't. I didn't really have an opinion on it. It looks like um, it looks like a game from that game company. It looks like with uh, something they would make, like the guys mm-hmm. that make Journey and like Flower. Yeah, looks like that. But um, it looks like that, but without like, but not as pretty. I don't want to sound like a dick, but yeah, I mean, it's got its own like art style. It kind of looks like that mixed with that game Rhyme. If you ever played that, yeah, uh, I was getting Rhyme vibes from it too. Yeah. I mean, it looks interesting. I'm, I'm not going to pick it up, but I can see the appeal of it. Uh, then they showed The Wild at Heart. Um, I don't remember this one. It's kind of like... It kind of reminds me of uh, Don't Starve a little bit. You don't remember. It might have like it. Pikmin. <laughs> like, it's giving me... It, it looks like Don't Starve mixed with Pikmin. Oh, yeah, Pikmin. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which, I mean, you know, to each their own, but it's not not my cup of tea. This next one, though, fucking Void Train. Yeah, I did not know what this was. I was I saw the first like twenty seconds. And I was like, oh, it's like a train simulator game. And then he starts like shooting up like monsters. I'm like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> yeah, and then they're like floating around, getting like some sort of resource. <clears throat> yeah, I still don't really understand what this is but yeah i don't know what i'm looking at here it looks like a survival also, base crafting game but a lot of these know. a lot of these have been on steam for a while i think this might have been on steam oh yeah for a bit i think add to wish list it says again on steam so yeah i don't know you can add a lot of things to wish list but yeah this looks interesting <laughs> yeah i'm I, I i like it it looks really cool um i'll have to wait till we get more details on it but i'm definitely what keeping an eye on that one i'm interested i'm just another shooter yeah but it's like, i mean i like shooters so it's like a different kind of shooter though yeah yeah well i'm a busy boy <laughs> <laughs> busy playing fall fantasy yeah <laughs> Um, that's all. Uh, that's where I get all my social contact. Okay. <laughs> that is. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I can say about that. I don't know, I've tried yeah. to get into Final Fantasy, and like, I'm just not an MMO guy, dude. I've tried on so many occasions to get into MMOs, and it's just not my cup of tea. That it's a good game. I just don't want to pay for anything. Like, there's tons <laughs> of good free. There's tons of good free shit out there that. It's hard to justify paying for like subscription anymore. Yeah, I don't even care. <laughs> I don't know what um, else I'm doing with my money. <laughs> yeah, they showed um at this point in their the little presentation, they did a little like compilation thing. But there were two games in here that I don't know kind of caught my eye. This one, Echo Generation. Yes, looks that like looks a, phenomenal. Like a voxel action adventure RPG, but like a very like detailed voxel art that I've never seen before. Yeah. Like the character models look okay, but if you get to like the creatures, like the robots and that giant worm thing towards the end, it's it looks insane. Um, and it's oh. got this like turn based RPG combat system that looks cool. Like I'm, I still don't know entirely understand what I'm looking at, but I, I like it. <laughs> Um, and then there was another one called An Airport for Aliens, currently run by dogs. <laughs> uh, and I like dumb stuff, and this looks really dumb, so <laughs> I'm like, I'm all yeah, for that, this. That's, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's it ticking with uh, dumb. Oh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's ticking that dumb VR game box, <laughs> but it's not a VR game. <laughs> Yeah. Um, then they showed a game called Moonglow Bay, which is a fishing RPG. Dude, I'm I'm down for that. 
Yeah, that's your kind of shit. Dude, whenever there's a fishing mini game in another game, uh, Harley would always say, he's probably, like, whenever I'm doing something, I'm probably fishing, because I don't know, dude. Oh. I like fishing in video games. I like fishing. fishing... In real life is okay, but fishing like... in video games, that's my shit. I like fishing in <laughs> MMOs. Like, in an MMO, I'm always like, I do the fisherman class all the time. As long as you, it's good. It's you can make a lot of money. Problem. I don't like that. Oh, yeah. I liked it in Black Desert because there's a whole, like, marketplace for uh, trading. I remember, yeah, I liked it in Red Dead and in Far Cry. Um, Yeah, but uh, Moon Glow, what's it called again? Moon Glow Bay. Yeah, this looks cool. It's another, like, voxel style. Xbox exclusive. Yeah, apparently it's Xbox exclusive. Or, I don't know. I don't what know. That means anymore. Yeah, me either. Console exclusive. Well, well, it says in the description, like literally in the description of this trailer, it says Moon Glow Bay is a relaxing slice of life fishing RPG launching on Xbox yeah, Series X, S, console, Game Pass for console and PC. There you go. There you go. Everyone, I'm, everything's pretty much everything is Game Pass. On Which, PC like, too. I'm fine with like, I don't have to buy an Xbox to play all these games, so I'm cool with it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty great what they did. Now they yeah. don't have to buy a Series X, play all their games on PC. Yep. Um, we also got a Art of Rally, which. Um, that game's been out for a while. It's basically... yeah, I was gonna say it's been a thing. More of like a drifting simulator than it is. Well, I guess I don't know what it looks there's like. I don't know. Drift, there's drifting and rally, I guess, at times, but yeah, I guess you like that sort of thing. Yeah, it's just a very. I mean, there's a market. There's a market for it for sure. It's not my cup yeah. of tea, but there's a market. I like the for art style. Sure. Me too. Now, this next game. What the fuck is Craftopia? Okay, so it's this not game as as it, it's not as good as this trailer makes it look. Yeah. <laughs> it's already <laughs> it's already out on it's a, it's been out on Steam and early access for a while. Um this is this is one of the games that like started the whole like hey Breath of the Wild is good, so let's make a game like that kind of um, Yeah. And yeah, I haven't played. Have you played it, Dolph? I have. It's still early access. It there's you get to a point in the game where there's nothing else to do unless you're like really into building stuff. What well, is like, early access? What uh, actually? Hold on. Trailer. There's a lot of stuff that I haven't seen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It looks like a trip, dude. It's got like because it's showing. It's like they're showing weapons that look like something that I've never been able to craft because I haven't. Because you got to like rank up your technology level and this yeah. whole thing. Well, that's the thing about early access is you blow your load on early access before all the content's finished and and yeah, they could ways to automate things. It's there's like a lot you can do in this game, like conveyor belts with a, all the cows into the big soup pot you gotta generate energy so you gotta catch catch the animals with your pokeballs and then then they can run on the thing well but, what weirds me out about it is like the art style is very inconsistent like all the creatures don't match <laughs> the environment they're in. like they look like it looks like an ass, asset flip game but with a little bit more effort put into it <laughs> But it still looks cool. Like the combat yeah, looks really cool. I probably just wait yeah. until the full release. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what I do. Like with most early access shit. I mean, I'm adding it to my wish list now. This looks dope as fuck. <laughs> um, they showed Rust console edition. When I was looking at this, I was like, it kind of looks like Rust, but like not as good. Um, <laughs> So I was like, I was questioning, like, is this rust? I mean, it looks bad. Uh, 
but no, it's Rust. Um, so Rust yeah. looked bad. Well, that was the big thing. Like Rust, like it never really looked that good to begin with. <laughs> I mean, that just I guess. Maybe, 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 maybe I, maybe I me- remembered it looking better than this, but maybe. Yeah, you got those nostalgia goggles on. Maybe I'm not even a fan of Rust. I just played it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but fuck Rust because right after this they showed Narita Boy, and this is oh my, yeah, this got me wet, dude. I mean, this what do you mean? Just, I mean, like in the pants, dude, in the in the wiener area. Like you were leaking pre cum or yeah fluids, man. <laughs> Or out of your vagina. Yeah. Well, no, we were we were talking about Narita Boy for a while. Like we talk about this like pretty much every week, <laughs> and it looks dope. It's a like a synthwave Metroidvania 2D side scroller. Yeah, music's pretty good. The music's really good. Yeah. Um, I love the music. I love the art style. This is definitely like, and it's coming to Game Pass. So I don't have to even fucking buy it. I just. Download it once it comes out. I'm excited. Uh, they showed Hello Neighbor 2, which is one of the biggest games on the planet, I, as I understand. It's like one of those games that if you're not paying attention to it, it's just like, is low-key one of the biggest shits going on right now. It's like Brawlhalla. Like, it's like one of like the top five games of, on Steam right now, and it's been for a while. Yeah, unless like you're in that circle, you don't even know. <laughs> yeah, um, Hello Neighbor Two. The big thing about this is that the AI learns from every player, uh, which is something that Microsoft's been like talking about for a while now. Um, I know with um, their last failure of a game, what was that Ninja Theory game that came out? Uh, oh, came out. It came out. You might not. <laughs> Uh, it was like a, it was like a MOBA, uh, fuck. Anyway, they, they, Ninja Theory made a MOBA and they were talking about the AI, um, AI driven, like learning shit, better AI stuff. And that's kind of what they're doing here is that the AI learns from every player, every iteration, every time someone plays the game, the AI gets smarter and smarter. So which sounds like a bad thing to me. If you're not playing this game, if you play it late, you're gonna have some fucked up AI. If you play it early, you're gonna have like some really dumb AI. So like the sweet spot sounds like it'd be like in the middle. Well, I think what's cool about it is that it sounds like I don't know if this is gonna happen. It depends on how popular the game gets, which if it's a sequel to Hello Neighbor, it's gonna be pretty popular. Um, it sounds like it's a community driven thing. Like the more people play it, oh, here's some exploits for the AI, and once the AI patches those out itself. I thought the community had to get together and like figure out more ways to beat it, which yeah. could be a pretty cool experience. Now, is it going to happen that way? I don't know, but I see the potential there. I'm not going to play it, but I see the potential. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not into the hello neighbor like gameplay. Yeah. Not there's a ton it. of games like this. So yeah, I just, it's, it's like, not whatever. my personal gameplay, but it does um, look really cool, though. They showed a game called Soup Pot, which is like a cooking mama type thing, but centered around like Asian cuisine. Um, I think I've wa- I, li- I watched a little bit of the interview they did after this, and they said that um, they're based in the Philippines, and okay. the whole thing is just like making shit up. Uh, like not using like a recipe, just measuring everything by like hand and memorization and like, cause I don't know, I guess like traditional Asian cultures, they get recipes passed down, but don't like have exact measurements for everything. So, or exact timings for everything. So it's, it's a lot of just guesswork. And that's and how cooking should be done. Taste as I you agree. go. Yeah, I agree. And uh, then you, my, you okay. do it to your own taste. Like, you know, you make food that you like. People have different tastes. I agree. Right. Um, that's something my, my grandma does. Uh, we make jokes that, like, 
she should write a cookbook. But if she did, the cookbook wouldn't have like any specific measurements in it. It would be like, oh, add this until it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because like she taught that so those same recipe. She taught them to like my mom and her sisters. So even though they all make the same recipe, the same food, the taste is different depending on who makes it. Like that's that's something that's really cool. And I like the idea of a cooking game kind of bringing that up to the forefront. I don't know how it's going to work, but it's an interesting concept to me. Yeah, like I agree with all that real life would be. Yeah, or just cooking in real life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, this next game, Demon Turf, looks... I, uh, it looks go- cool. <laughs> like, I, uh, I played this. Yeah? I played this, yeah. How was it? It looks like fun. It's a, um, it's a platformer like uh mario 64 what i didn't know and this is new actually is it's published by playtonic the guys mm-hmm. that make uh the ukulele games mm-hmm. um oh so it's probably gonna suck <laughs> it's not made by them it's just published by them <laughs> it looks okay, good well. like you played the demo sabi what'd you think of it yeah it's it was fun uh i mean i there's a lot of people who don't like 3D platformers, you know, it's not the most beloved. Like the yeah, and it looks, you know, it looks different. It's, it's a weird look. It, it actually does take a little getting used to, but it does a thing where it puts like the shadow underneath you. So when you're making jumps, you know, like, okay, if my shadow's there, then I'm, I'm going to land the jump. Uh, shit like that. So like, it, it knows what it's doing. Um, oh, so also you can plant, you can plant a flag down wherever you want. So whenever you die, that's where you respawn. So if you're like, oh, this looks like a particularly dangerous section, I'm going to put a flag down so I can respawn here. Um, you can set your own respawn points, basically. Um, it's really cool. There's a demo out on Steam is where I played it. So you can try it out. I, I enjoyed it. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Don't waste your time. I'm definitely going to download the demo. I think it looks like fun. Um, well, it reminds me of that that game you showed off, Wasabi. What was that game? Uh, that RPG weeks ago had a similar style, where it was like a two D character on like a three D back in a three D uh, environment. I don't remember. It was forever ago. It was like an Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty JRPG. We saw some game that looked like this. I, I don't remember it, but you showed us something similar like weeks ago. But this I looks remember. cool. I have a bad memory. That's fine. I remember it. That's all that matters. <laughs> uh, they showed some kind of war game called Enlisted. Don't know anything about it. They showed... Uh, skip over it. No one cares. Chivalry. No one cares about this, right? <laughs> I don't know. And chivalry is like... Gonna... I don't know. There's a, there's a low roar for this game, but I've just never... I've never I don't, been a fan. I don't care. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't care. Song of Iron, which looks like Assassin's Creed Valhalla meets uh Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And that one sucked. I liked I liked Valhalla. Valhalla was like the first one I liked in a while. So you didn't like Odyssey? Odyssey was okay, but I don't know. I didn't really stick to it. It didn't it didn't stick me as much as Valhalla did. I don't know why. Oh. Vikings are cool. Yeah. But yeah, this is yep. like Valhalla meets like uh, Prince of Persia, almost with a little God of War mixed in. You can like throw your axe and then you can summon it back. Does that whole thing? Um, oh, that's okay. all right. And it's all in two D, so that, that's cool. I like two D games. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it looks it looks really cool. I like this, and this is uh, you can wish list it on Steam right now, but it's probably coming to Game Pass. But it's in this announcement. Yeah. So I can't wait till that comes out. Uh, um, then we got what's this XO One. XO One. So I played this as well. Um, oh yeah. And if you ask me what what's a, what it's about, I have no fucking idea. Uh, basically, you're a ball, and you roll around and fly around, and that's it. Oh, it's like, like one journey. button. There's one yeah, button. Yeah, it looks like the the flower game that the Journey guys made. Yeah, but it's like more visually appealing, I think. It's more... uh... I think it hurts my eyes. 
Uh, okay. And like, there's like a lot of flashing at certain points. Yeah. But there's like one button. There's like a gravity button. So when you hit that button, you just drop instantly. But you hit that oh, also to like dude, go yeah. faster down. <laughs> I'm into that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. There's a demo for this on Steam as well. I think you can try it I out. Will. I don't I'm understand not gonna... it. Um, nobody saves the world. So this is the new game from Drinkbox, the guys that do uh, Guacamelee. That's got me excited. I fucking, I liked uh, Guacamelee, Guacamelee Two, and the other game they did, uh, Severed. I yeah. love all of them. Um, this is like uh, Binding with Isaac. It's like that, it's... but you've got like different abilities, different uh, like mutations. Yeah, you, different abilities. Like yeah. like. you can play as a turtle that shoots arrows. <laughs> well, that's the thing is that you can like crossbreed your abilities. So like you can be the turtle, and you can get like the arrow ability from like the ranger. Okay, so you play as a the turtle, then you have sex with the ranger girl, and then you pop out a. Turtle like that, that, if that's your head cannon, I mean, if that gets you through the game, <laughs> you play how you want, man. <laughs> well, you said crossbreed, like, I don't know. <laughs> um, it looks cool though, like, yeah, it looks pretty good. I, I like Binding of Isaac, and this looks like just that, but a little more colorful. Uh, yeah. the art style is different from Drinkbox's normal gig, you know, Guacamelee and Sundered. Had a very similar art style, and this is very different from it, but still very cartoony. So I'm cool with it. Oh, there's a monk guy wrapped in bandages. Like I like this. I'm 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 probably gonna pick this up when it comes out. Yeah, a lot of um, a lot of rogue likes coming out, man. A lot of them. It's getting a little uh, oversaturated. I think. Yeah. But... <laughs> yeah, but they're they're, you know. Because people people play that. Yeah. Oh, they're fun. It's just, man. There's a lot of them. Fun for. I mean, it depends on how it's done. Like, you know, Hades is a roguelike, but I wouldn't compare it to, like, other roguelikes, really. Yeah. But, you, you know, you got to do something like that to, like, really stand out. Yeah, that's true. Um, new RPG called, uh... Ast Astria Ascending. So this is a... Uh, it looks weird. It looks not like what you want it to be. <laughs> or at least for me. It's actually a tactics... It sounds... I don't RPG. know. They're throwing these names in these other games that... <laughs> yeah, the writer from Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy VII Remake... Um, the artist from some some Final Fantasy game. Uh, you know, I like the art the style. Art, yeah, it kind of reminds me of Child of Light a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah, like, you get, it's cool. Child of Light's good, so. I don't know. It looks combat. really linear. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe it's like Maple Story where you can, like, go up and down and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but What the yeah. fuck is this? If I, it hits me with an Oscari Sama and then Demi God Ascend. <laughs> that, you want to tell us what that mean? means? What does that mean? That means, hey, thanks for the good work today, buddy. Okay. It's something you say um, when you leave work to someone. Like, thanks thanks for the good work or good, good job today. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's coming 2021. They showed Last Oasis, which is another. Uh, oh no, this is um, this is actually out now. Um, this looks badass, but I don't really know what exactly. Is it a survival game or? It's like badass. a survival game, but bad. <laughs> is it bad? I don't know. I haven't I haven't I seen don't... anything about this yet. But apparently it launched when they announced it, so. I mean, is it on Game Pass? That's how you know it's bad. 
It's like a survival you're, crafting you're, game, I guess. They do a really good job at uh, making the trailers look good, but then the game ends up being... You haven't even uh, played the game yet. How do you know for sure? <laughs> well, because it doesn't have the hype around it. I mean, it because just came out. Good. Yeah. If it was good, yeah. then I would know. <laughs> Is that it? Are you the end all be all on like no, whether a game's good I'm or not? not? I'm not the end all be all. It's other people. I would hear about it. I would see people playing it on my friends. It, it just it just launched though. That's the thing. Like yeah, yesterday. Well, uh, it looks too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Like how you're looking for stuff like not to like about it. <laughs> well, like I don't know, you're driving around that little mech thing. Like how, how, how do you build that? <laughs> well, there's a lot of people who like Ark, and I never understood it. But whenever they show that game, it looks badass. But then you play it, and it's like, yeah, that's oh, what okay. I'm seeing. That's what I'm telling. That's what I feel about this game. It looks. Cool. <laughs> What I feel like, like how long like, do I have oh, to smash these rocks together before I get a fucking raptor with lasers on his head? Like, <laughs> look, it has mixed reviews on Steam, so okay. I guess I'm right. <laughs> uh, they showed this game in Lost Idolans, Idolans, which um looks early as fuck. It's a 2022 oh, yeah. game. <laughs> Um, and like, it looks good until you see it. <laughs> it looks bad. Well, I mean, it looks okay until you see it. And then, and then you realize that it's a tactics game. And then I just tune out. I'm like done. Yeah. Cause like, you're too dumb to play tactics games, right? No, I like some, there's like very few tactics games. I like, like I like Disgaea and that's about it. Yeah. I'm pretty dumb too. I'm not a real fan of tactics games. You don't have to. I just don't like having like I don't like position based yeah, shit. Yeah, either. Like, I just want to kill everything. Yeah, <laughs> but you got to actually think and do things good, and I'm not down for that. It but depends like, on the game for me. Like... Turtle, you actually have to think in that game. <laughs> it's not about like it's not about thinking. It's just about like this is like too much. I like, like I don't have to worry about. Right. I like having one character. I like having like my one guy that that's who I am and that I go around killing shit. Oh, shit, dude. I feel that. That's why I like Final <laughs> Fantasy XIV. Because you can do everything on your one guy. Yeah. Not like World of Warcraft. Or like, like Destiny where it's like, yeah, make four guys and do all the dailies on those four guys. Oh, and then... Fucking. Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's the optimal that's way to play, yet. but that's not yeah, how I play. To change classes. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Fuck Destiny. Uh, lawn mowing simulator. Everyone's hype about that. Oh, um, are you serious? There's a lawn mowing simulator? Okay, here's the important thing, though. Here's what matters in this whole entire thing. If you take nothing else from this. Okay. Uh, Loot River. This game is yeah, fucking incredible, incredible dude. <laughs> have, you, have you played it? No, 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 no. I oh, you're talking like it. you played. I got all excited. Oh, I just, um, I just like how it looks, or the concept behind it is just fucking crazy. Yeah, dude, it's like, it's like a like an isometric Bloodborne roguelike with Tetris elements. Like, what is Tetris? This? Or like sliding puzzle mechanics. It's fucking crazy. Uh, yeah, when they fucking when they, yeah, I have no idea. Oh, it looks nice. fucking awesome. <laughs> Nice, get in and out, dude. I know what that means. That was an innuendo for sex. <laughs> um, but yeah, this just looks awesome, dude. I, oh, yeah, I need to play one. this. All the sticky fluids. There's one part at the there's one part right at the end where there's a platform with like spikes on it. And you're just ramming it over and over into a bunch of enemies. Bruh, dude, I'm yeah, I get it. I'm down for ramming <laughs> it over and over. I'm down for ramming. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, it's yeah. it's, it's I... that game looks fucking <laughs> awesome. Um yeah, it does. That... It looks incredible, dude. I'm into it. Uh then they show Among Us coming to Xbox. Great, great. Dude. I love Among Us. 
Do you really? You just be no. facetious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like no. no I don't want to talk about them. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got Death Door also got announced. Uh, this looks also. Awesome. I don't even know what this is. Like, <laughs> it looks trippy, but I'm into it. Another, you know, it's another Souls like rogue like thing. I feel like there's more emphasis on like bosses though. That's what it looks I like. I like that, dude. Boss. Now these bosses look crazy. Like there's like that, if, that castle. If the boss fights are good. It's all that matters. It could be one boss fight after another. Yeah, I'm the same yeah. way. I like a good boss fight, and that game looks like it has it. Oh, there's so many like games coming out, dude. Like, I don't know how I'm good. How I'm gonna keep up with all of it. Well, we're not coming out at the same time, so I know, but still, it's just a lot of games. A little overwhelming. It really is. You know, second extension, which is like a dinosaur horde game. Which I feel which, like... like dinosaurs don't get enough attention, man. I feel like dinosaurs are cool. Why aren't they in more video games? Dinosaurs are dumb. You're dumb. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I I thought the dinosaur craze would have started around when uh, Horizon Zero Dawn came out. Dinosaurs in like that. Well, we're like robot dinosaurs. The robot everything. I mean, it would have started, but Horizon Zero Dawn was following another trend, which was the uh, generic open world sandbox game. Yeah, you're right about that. Right about that, <laughs> especially yeah, the generic like part. Even if the main character wasn't even that hot, like it was a pretty good game. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> um, they showed a game called "We Are the Caretakers." It looks not, I don't know, not for me. Looks like it's not for yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way. Apparently, they got a bunch of awards for something, but I don't see it. I don't see it. So. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, me neither. Blaster Master, not for me. Blaster Master, Blaster Master, Blaster Master. I don't know. Is yeah, I guess so, but it's not not for me. <laughs> well, I don't like those games either. Uh, Blaster Master Zero Three. This game, great great series of games. The first one is more of a remake. Of the first Blaster Master, and then these the sequels do more to kind of expand on it. But here's what I'm talking about: this trailer happens, and they only show Xbox and Xbox Series X and S. But they've had this; they've shown this trailer on <laughs> before, and it's it's coming to fucking everything, everything. Yeah, Switch, didn't we see this at like a Nintendo announcement? Yeah, a couple weeks Nintendo back? showed it, and they had only had yeah. their logos on it. I'm like. I don't like how misleading this stuff is because it makes you think uh, that it's not coming to other shit, but it's coming yeah, to everything. Don't be poor and it's not a problem. Yeah. Just don't be poor. <laughs> um, it showed Stalker 2. It was just a bunch of like concept stuff. Nothing really exciting. Yeah, uh, I know a lot of people were excited for that game, but I don't know. Until I see something, until, until I see more from it, I I can't like get excited for it. Twelve minutes they showed a little bit of, which we've seen this trailer. It's the same trailer we've seen already. Um, Will it? I've never seen this. What the hell is this? It's um, it's a game where you have twelve minutes, uh, and um, oh, basically, oh, Daisy Ridley and James Mac McAvoy, and you mentioned William Dafoe. I don't know who those people are, so I didn't say them. Who uh, are they? They are James McAvoy is is Professor X in and he's also the the split guy. And Daisy Base? Ridley is is uh she's the new Skywalker. Spoilers uh, for yeah. Rise of the Will Skywalker. And Willem Dafoe is just that's Willem Dafoe. You know, Willem Dafoe is uh I know Willem Dafoe. It's the Green Goblin. He's uh, the uh, Green Goblin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well, there you go. It's 
Star Story well, you cast. Know, James McAvoy was also the gnome in the gnome movie. The what movie? What? Gnome, like Gnomeo and Juliet. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what Gnomeo and Juliet is? No. For real? I thought you were making this up, but I Googled it. It's a thing. <laughs> 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 yeah, James McAvoy is Romeo. Okay. It's, well, he, he probably was already, like he was in a contract at that point, and he definitely didn't want to do that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is that is not like, that doesn't look like a good movie at all. <laughs> that looks awful. Well, Moving on. <laughs> 12, twelve minutes is a game. You have literally you have twelve minutes, and you make a bunch of choices. And within those twelve minutes, a bunch of different things can happen. Um, like you could bang that girl. Yeah, you could bang the girl, or the girl could fucking get stabbed, or shot, or died, or like yeah. a bunch of things can happen. So play it over and over. Just yeah. See the butterfly effect. Yeah. <laughs> Um, they have that and another similar game they just, I, I guess they announced new was uh, Last Stop. Which I guess is like a similar concept, but it seems like a little bigger, I guess. But yeah, so. Um, video games, man. Video games. Video games, man. Um, indie games. I, mean, I, I feel like yeah, indies are like where it's at. Yeah, dude, like, even though, like, everything here wasn't my cup of tea, everything there was at least, like, interesting and had something cool to show off. Yeah. So it will be cool to see, like, when they come out. The ones I'm excited for are Exo Mecha, for sure. Yep. You know, Void Train, Craftopia looks cool. Loot Narita River. Boy, oh, I can't wait till Narita Boy comes out. That's, that's coming on Game Pass. I'm going to play that day one. Uh, but in some announcements, uh, new announcement, the new Call of Duty is going back to World War II. So that's cool. I don't know how many people were actually clamoring for that. Like, is there a big push to get World War II back in Call of Duty? Uh, no. I mean, I thought the big, the big thing, the big thing is when they went back to Modern Warfare. That's where it really fucking exploded again. So... You would figure they would just keep doing that, like if they wanted to make money, but um, maybe they don't. Uh, but... Different developers. I don't like how Call of Duty does their shit. Yeah, it's different developers, but like I don't know. At some point, you would just be like, "Well, this is the one that makes money, so let's just have everyone know. do that." I don't like Advanced Warfare, but I was I was a fan of Advanced Warfare. That was the last one I liked. Well, I didn't I didn't play Modern Warfare, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like the more high speed of all of it. Yeah, Jumping I like around. good, good my movement. Char- my character looked like me, <laughs> <laughs> fat and Asian. Yeah, we went with, I'm not fat, fucker. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, a, a lot of stuff in here is like just a, a rumor still, but um, they said it's going to be codenamed World War II Vanguard. Call of Duty. Uh, Call of Duty World War II Vanguard. Yeah. Can I still play Call of Duty? No. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not at all. Um, they said the, enti- the entire game takes place in an alternate timeline where 1945 wasn't the end of World War II. Uh, and it's set in the 1950s. So. Well, that might be this, interesting. It's still, still rumor stuff, so I guess we'll... Uh, We'll see what happens with this, and yeah, I don't know. And then, not play it. Not play <laughs> yeah, it. Just, yeah, I'm not gonna play it. Um, unless we got some word that Microsoft is in talks with Discord over a ten billion dollar plus acquisition. Which, I mean, Sony just bought out Evo. <laughs> so anything kind of, can happen. Like, yeah. Exactly. A lot of people are happen. like, a lot of people getting, are like up in doom and gloom about this. I don't think for Xbox why. consoles is fine. I think it's uh, fine. Yeah. Uh, because Microsoft has they, been very. Um, they need to. Been, 
hands off. Yeah. Buy the company, but like let them do what they're doing. Hands off, but but they've been they've been very good with like um cross platform and integration and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. like if they do if they do, do this, I think it'd be a net positive just to get everything connected, you know, like you know, oh, yeah. get get the stuff on Xbox, get Discord on Xbox, get it on uh, more I tightly integrated with Windows. Like, I, I, I think, think it'd be positive too. A lot yeah. of people, you know, they see what Skype, what happened to Skype, and <laughs> yeah, well, Skype was that was a different. That's a different Microsoft. That's a different. They Microsoft. think it's like the same thing's gonna happen, but it's just like you know, they should learn from their mistakes. Yeah, they've been doing they they've been doing very well lately. So, I don't know. It's it's better. It's better Microsoft than Bloomberg said. Epic Games and Amazon was also looking at them. <laughs> uh, better than either of those two, I think. So. Yeah, if you're gonna worry, it's gonna be one of them buying it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think most people just have like security concerns. Like they think Microsoft is very um, invasive with their like security or like monitoring and shit. But I don't. Discord already fucking does that shit. Yeah, I'm Discord already does it. Like, you're already using you Windows. About that, after Microsoft's acquisition, they have not been paying attention to what they're doing now. Yeah. yeah. So it's mine. Yeah, I'm a pretty good service. I don't care. I'm for it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they could tie in. They could possibly tie in the Nitro service with Game Pass subscription as well. Oh, I didn't even think Sorry. about that. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be really cool. Um, we also got news that uh, Ikumi Nakamura, uh, an ex Bethesda director, remember she was a meme for a little while back in what was the E three twenty nineteen twenty twenty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's uh going out and starting up her own studio, which I mean, good for her. Good for her. Yeah, I think she That's left. Um, though. she left Bethesda, I think, because she said. She had like health problems or something, so I don't. I don't something think like that. Yeah, um, it was really weird though, because like she left like a little bit after that that conference where she got like really popular. Yeah, you know they were showing off. Uh, what was it? Ghostwire. Uh, yeah, Ghostwire Tokyo. And then like she became a meme, and then she was like, "Oh, I'm leaving." <laughs> <laughs> But no, um, I mean, good for her. If she's doing her own thing now, it'd be cool. I love seeing like new indie studios coming out. I want to see what they put out. So you know, hard feelings with it. I can't wait to see what they do. Yeah, and she seems to be really passionate about um, like the kind of game she wants to make. She says um, she's like inspired by Devil May Cry and the occult and urban legends and everything that touches the occult, friend science. To solve ghost mysteries, like, I don't know. You think she was the in in the occult club at her high school? Probably. I mean, I like Devil May Cry, so if she's making any games inspired by that, I'm into it. Yeah. I also got to look at Lord of the Rings Golem. Or Golem. Dude, you're old. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Why am I old? You know, the, the video was like, it asked my age and I put 99. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, yeah, Lord of the Rings Gollum. I mean, I don't know anything about this game. Like, I, it got announced forever ago. Yeah. We're finally getting a look at it. It looks like, like a stealth game, but. Yeah, it looks like sticks. I mean, yeah, I was about to game? say, it looks like sticks, but like not as good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I play a little bit of sticks and I didn't really, I wasn't into it. I play a little bit too and I liked it. Okay. Oh, shit. You play as Gollum? Yeah. Well, it's called Lord of the Rings Gollum. So. Well, I didn't pay attention after Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Me neither. Excuse me? You heard, you heard me. You guys just don't get it. Oh. <laughs> I've like tried to get into it, but I've just never. Nah. Yeah, you just don't get it. I don't get nah, it. I don't. I don't get the 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 ring. 
Yeah. The one one ring to rule them all. I mean, what's there to get? It's like three movies of dudes walking to a volcano. Oh. Yeah. No, you're supposed to read the book. What are you going to read? Not oh, going to read fucking caveman? No. So movies are for. No, exactly. the books are good. I don't know. Those movies are like too long and shit. I mean, my brother is like super into them. He's been trying to get me into them. I've never had the time to like sit down and. You just gotta to watch the uncut versions and waste twelve hours of your day. They're like four I mean, hours. You use each, those movies. Twelve hours of your days really efficiently. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So Gollum looks all right. Uh, it's just a little teaser, so it didn't really show much. You can play as Gollum. So like side note, Gollum. like Gollum's like <laughs> ugly as shit, but he looks even but more. Everyone, in this game. everyone loves doing the Gollum voice, right? Right, best. You you got a good Gollum voice. Uh, uh, precious. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to. I just. I. I. Um. I subbed for. Uh, uh, Andy Circus for like a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay next one looks good <laughs> Kena Bridge yeah, of Spirits yeah. so PlayStation would have you believe that this is a PS5 exclusive it is not no uh, it, it, not. it is it is coming to PC uh, and that's where I'm going to play it because this game looks fucking awesome so yeah it does. I'm going to play it on PS5 I'm not going to even get a PS5 until there's a reason to mm-hmm. You don't have a PS5? No. <laughs> okay, well. To, to eat his own, as they say. I'm not going to get a PS5 just to have a dick-waving contest of, oh, I got one and you don't. Okay, g- cool. What are you playing on also, it? Oh, I also old PS4 have $500, so. <laughs> Fuck. That's literally the only reason why I want a PS5. <laughs> <laughs> With a dick wave? This is a dick waving contest because they're like they're difficult to get, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Real talk. <laughs> if someone got a PS5, I'd be like, okay, cool. Like whatever. But if I found out you overpaid for it, if I find out you paid a scalper for it. <laughs> no, I bought it off Walmart. It should be getting here on my <laughs> All right, that, that's a little bit more acceptable. But if you paid a scalper, I would fucking just no, rip into you. Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't even want this PS5. I'm literally, like, thinking about just selling it for the price that I paid for it, just because I don't, you know, get it to someone who actually wants it, but didn't put in the effort, like me, to to order it. Why put in the effort? Like, it's a challenge. I don't know, dude. Honestly, I don't know. It was, it's a challenge. (laughs) At least, like, you don't want to play. You don't you don't want to play games where you have to think, but you would play this whole game to get a PS5. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never understand your mindset, dude. At least make some money off it. Uh nah, I don't want to be one of those guys. Oh. Anyways, I'll build a bridge out of spirits. Especially if yeah. I'm playing as a little cutie patooie. <laughs> Um. Yeah. So also, this game's also coming to PS4 as well, which they don't want you to know. But oh, it takes two to make a thing go. Over. Oh, I don't want to get you copyrighted. My bad. Yeah. Careful, <laughs> man. It's dangerously close. Um. Yeah. It takes two. No, say... oh, this one. I bought it. We're gonna be playing this on Tuesday. I'm excited. Yeah, I bought it yesterday. I played a little bit with one of my friends, and then he was all like, wait a second, you're drunk right now? <laughs> and I was all like, yes. He was like, well, I don't want to play this game if you're drunk and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, simple and solution for that. All right, tomorrow. We'll some drinks then. <laughs> tomorrow, we're, getting, we're both getting drunk and playing this. I say, there's a simple solution. I mean, Postmates is a thing, so just... Use that to get some liquor in you. You can <laughs> you do that. Both. Yeah, you can post mates alcohol, right? I've never, yeah. I've never tried that. I should do that. You just have to check your ID one. But I don't know. 
Uh, a way out was a pretty good game, so this should be a pretty good game too. Yeah, I haven't played that one yet, but this one, I don't know. This one tickles my my taint more than a way out did. Yeah, this one actually sticks finger in my butthole and hits my prostate. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Kaze and the Wild Masks. Um, this game looks cool. It looks like a um, looks like a Donkey Kong Country. Okay, let's skip. Let's skip to like the kid shit. There we go. Oh, I thought that was a game where you play a little <laughs> white fat kid. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like a Donkey Kong Country. Uh, I like I like the way this uh looks. Yeah, same. I like it. Um, I was gonna get this instead of uh. Instead of stubs, Stubs zombie, yeah. Why didn't you? This looks so much better. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. The stubs is look. It was dumb and girlfriend. No, there's no way. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) (laughs) And some dude, some other like fifty year old dude comes in. You're like, this is not what. Like, what is the relationship between these people? Oh, that's their stepdad. Their foster dad. Okay, well, that's it. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> that's Kaze in the Wild Mask. I think they're just trying to diversify it. They didn't really put much thought in it. Because <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Look, he's running No, it doesn't. <laughs> and a fucking a rabbit because Kaze is a rabbit. <laughs> okay, that's Kaze in the Wild Masks. All right, pretty good trailer. This, this shows a train wreck. This is a train Seven wreck. Out of 10. Uh, yeah, this shows <laughs> Jesus Christ. Haunted space. Oh, yeah, like haunted space. <laughs> yep. Which oh, scary? Can we skip this? One? I mean, it looks like a, like a like a. I don't like being scared. It doesn't look like a scary game at all, though. Oh, it doesn't look scary, okay. but it looks. Uh... Oh, it's a space game. I was concentrated on the haunted. Yeah, the second part is the important part. Uh, this kind of looks cool. I'm a sucker for like space shit. So yeah, same. What was that like, game? What was that VR game where you played as a fucking robot in space? Uh, gotta be more specific than that. I know what game you're talking about. It's got a uh, what's his name, Joel from The Last of Us in it. What? Does it? Baker. Yeah. See, he knows what I'm talking about. So why don't you know? Troy Baker. I remember that was a good game. It gave me a it gave me a tummy ache, so I could only play it for a couple hours at a time. Troy Baker's in a space VR game where you play as a robot. VR. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lone Echo. Lone Echo. Yeah, that was a fucking that was a good game. All right, if you haven't well. played it. Think about it. You might get a little tummy ache, though. Would you play that on your uh, Oculus? Yeah. Oh, okay. I I don't know where my Oculus is. I think it's in one of the boxes I haven't opened since I moved. But (laughs) (laughs) I don't know where it is. That's how important it is. (laughs) Um... Well, it's because I don't, I don't want to unpack everything if I'm only living in this place for three years and then I have to repack it. Only Are you fucking years? kidding me? Three years? Only three <laughs> years? Not it seems like a bigger pain in the ass to keep everything packed for three years and just unpack it. Well, I think if there's... A, no, it's not in my... I know I have a box full of all my anime figures. That's the most important like, stuff. Like, yeah, I I repacked everything and I kept the boxes in good condition and everything. It was just like I'm not gonna take all this shit out again. <laughs> not if I have to redo all this. But it's like like what what's your limit then? If it was only three years, like is five years like I'm gonna be here long enough to justify yeah. my backing? Uh, <laughs> yeah, kind of kind of yeah, five years is pretty long. <laughs> Maybe if I had a place to display it. I like when I invite girls over, they see that how cool I am with all my anime figures. Oh yeah. Yeah, I do the same anime, thing. 
Anime is cool now, man. It doesn't have the, the same stigma it used to. It's cool now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if they're into that, then I'm um, into that. <laughs> um, so that this is the fourth time her. I'm playing this Haunted Space trailer. Um, yeah, let's move on. Uh, we got a <laughs> Vocabulantis, like a stop motion platformer. Uh, stop that's... motion video game? Yeah. That's what they said. That's what it says, so. It definitely looks like stop motion. You can tell by how shitty it looks. I think stop motion is cool. What's your yeah, like stop it. motion? Yeah, stop motion, dude. Whoever like the people that are willing to put in the effort to make stop motion shit, like that's fucking. It's crazy. You um, just said it looks shitty. <laughs> yeah, that's what stop motion does. Look shitty. I think personally, I'll I'll watch it. I fucking you know. It's I liked um I liked Kubo and the two string. Yeah, Kubo, Caroline. I fucking I like stop motion stuff, but it doesn't look that great. I think it looks really cool. It looks um, like stop motion. People aren't into that. You can tell by uh. Uh, sales of Kubo and Two Strings was a really good movie, but look how much money it generated. It made yeah. some money, didn't it? Didn't it like win an Oscar or something? Doesn't matter if it won an Oscar. Yeah, Not a I don't know. Could have sworn it made some money. Oh, it I barely really, made any money. Really it made like, like 77 movie. million on a 60 million budget. Yeah, Ooh. see, Caroline did pretty good. I'm surprised Caroline made more money. Kubo and the two streams was way better. Yeah. I think it's because everyone's a racist and they don't like Asians. True. Also, Coraline's like based on a book, so I'm sure that had something to do with it. Oh, I thought you didn't read. I, I know books exist. I'm not a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't know how to read. <laughs> okay, well, that was Vocabulantis. We're doing we're doing good guys. We're clipping through this. <laughs> hitting hitting everything, so uh Yeah, so honestly I'll probably I'll buy I'll definitely buy this game just because the like, support. Yeah. Like even though I, I'm saying like I'm not like I think stop motion looks like shit. Like I'm still a fan of it. I, I like it. You like you like the craft. And then people like the people who would do stop motion in this this day and age, obviously they have a huge passion towards it. Um, and our friend, uh, our friend Purple Nugget Comics, friend of the show, uh, she's done, she's done some stop motion animation. Yeah, she showed me a couple of her, a uh, couple of her, uh, her shit, and it looks it's really cool. Yeah, um, a lot. Um, next game we got is uh, Thymesia. Thymesia. No, you skipped one. I skipped one. What we talked about. You skipped. Oh, unbeatable. unbeatable. Yeah, I did. I skipped unbeatable. He uh, this looks just not into it. He doesn't like <laughs> girls. No, unbeatable looks cool. It's like a rhythm Ooh. beat em up. Uh, this is good, dude. Are you allowed to play this music? Yeah, let me turn it up. Um, I'm a sucker for rhythm games. Uh, yeah. I was looking for good rhythm games, not like bullshit like Miku. Uh, <laughs> dude, fuck you. <laughs> dude, fuck you, man. Those games suck, man. <laughs> like, the only reason, the only reason people play those games is because okay, it's Miku. Dude, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, of which, there's a fucking love live. I don't know if you guys know what love live game. Love no, live fuck is, that but... game, dude. Fuck, dude, dude. Yeah, fucking hundred sixty eight dollars for all the Muse song, and that's just Muse. It's not even <laughs> Aqua or the fucking new people. Like, what the fuck? It's so expensive. Wait, I was gonna, I was gonna look at that game because it was yeah, free. It's, dude, it's expensive. Yeah, it's free, but you gotta download all the. It's the that I didn't game. know. I don't know what songs are free if there are any free songs. That I did that, not know. That's a huge. That's like, honestly, dude, I'm, I fucking, I went to Japan to go see Aqua perform live one time. And uh, nice. I, I love Love Live, but 
Not that well, much. Fuck that game, not though, because it sucks. I'd rather buy more fucking anime figures than have to pay for the songs in that game. That's what those games are, man. They're a fucking piece of shit. That, all of those games. That's why the They're only... Good. They're good, dude. Like, the, I only, the, the only rhythm those game you should ever play is DJ Max Respect. Dude, it's the only you can one. Fucking see these cute anime girls fucking singing and dancing. They, uh, yeah, and then but like those Miku games have like they they have like a model viewer, and when you try to flip it around to see up the skirts, because that's what you want to do, it like no, it censors not, it. Idols are pure, dude. Fuck it you. censors it when you try to flip it, dude. Good. They should censor it. There's no. Not they shouldn't. It's bullshit. Stuff. It's not what I paid for. Look somewhere else. It's not what I paid for. Well, um, there's plenty <laughs> of games on the Switch if you want that sort of thing. Yeah, but fuck the Switch. It's not. Well, it's, <laughs> your Switch doesn't work. Yeah. That's 11 days from right now. Assuming you watch. So that's, that's pretty <laughs> funny. Uh, I'll kickstart kick, this game. Kick Unbeatable is on Kickstarter, or 11 yeah. days from now, it'll be, it'll on, be Kickstarter. on Kickstarter. in. In some days, April 6th, which is three days before my birthday. Yeah. Oh, well, congrats. Yeah. Happy Thank birthday. you. Happy surprised birthday. I've lived this long. <laughs> Why are you surprised? All you do is drink and play video games. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're not exactly putting yourself in harm's way. <laughs> You're not like an Arctic fisher. <laughs> uh, well, I'm just saying someone who... All they do is drink and play video games. They obviously have depression. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm surprised that they haven't killed themselves yet. That oh my not... god! <laughs> Anyways, what's the what's the next game? <laughs> <laughs> So. I'll keep this tab. I'll keep. I'll keep a tab open for Unbeatable because I'll forget. <laughs> oh so, my uh... god! Well, I'll just click notify me on launch. Send me an email. I don't even know how to respond to that. Like, how do you come back from that? <laughs> what do you mean? They'll just send me Kickstarter. Will just send me an email. <laughs> That's how. Pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> All right. Uh, Thymesia looks cool. Um, it looks it's scary. A, it's like a Dark Souls clone, but a little bit faster. It's like blood oh, like warm with the or like blood yeah. warm with steady frame rate. Which those are the only Souls games I like. So if you can get up in that ass, that's what I want. Okay, this definitely lets you. This definitely lets you do it. I'm I'm into it too, dude. It looks like fun. Yeah, you can't repeat the same joke that I did about. I, wish i saved it for now but something about what? your ass something about you said something about getting in your ass and i wanted to say the same thing about yeah and uh it was gets in my ass and hits my prostate you know what I'm saying? Oh. those are two different well, jokes but okay well, <laughs> what do you mean well, no i i, 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 you, why I else put would these you want in your ass well because no i put these games in like a subgenre of <laughs> like get up in that ass kind of games where it's like it rewards you for like being aggressive and they call them get up in that ass it's like bloodborne oh, so you're getting up on their ass yeah yeah instead yeah, of in my okay, ass yeah <laughs> glad glad we could explain it <laughs> or wasabi could explain it <laughs> <laughs> but no that means she looks cool um i definitely want to check that out when that comes out uh, we also got this uh, cruelty squad. Um. Yes. Like, I don't, I don't know out. what this is. Check it out. <laughs> it's got this like retro FPS like style to it. <laughs> Looks like a PS One game, but, like a broken PS One game. <laughs> what the fuck? Am I watching? Uh, it's cruelty squad, dude. Uh, the next big thing. I'm not interested. If I want to play a PS1 game, I'll play PS1 emulator on my phone. <laughs> no, dude, it's an FPS shooter uh, game. Okay, well, not interested. 
Um, yeah, but look how awesome know, it looks. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but I'm, I think I'm into it. It looks, <laughs> it looks so bad, but like, yeah, exactly. This way, I like that. the. I like this. I like a, like a fun bad. Yeah, it looks like a fun like jank. Yeah. yeah, if you're into that, that's fine. I am definitely into it. I'm into it. <laughs> Augment your body. You make your dick bigger. I mean, wouldn't you? Probably. No, I'm happy with my size. No, you're not, liar. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Mr. Self-Confidence over here. Wouldn't change a thing about myself. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, this oh, game looks anyway. like a trip, dude. I'm into it. Okay, I'm firm handshakes all around. Am I right, boys? Yeah, exactly. Firm. The firmest. <laughs> Hey, that's pretty gay. What do you mean? Nothing. A handshake is like the most hetero, like the most hetero thing ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially when they're really firm. Yeah, you don't get to do it these days, so it makes it all the better when it's firm. Oh, who, yeah, who gives a weak handshake? I judge right. people with weak handshakes. What's the next? <laughs> Oh, there's fishing oh, in it. See that? In this game? <laughs> oh, I'm into that. <laughs> there you go. I got something for everybody. Uh, uh, next, uh, we got some uh, new releases. Uh, Record of Lodos War comes out tomorrow, which it's been in early access for a while. It looks like a. Symphony of the Night inspired Metroidvania from the uh, record of Lodos War. Why so serious as a developer? Uh, yes. This looks like my kind of game. Yeah, dude, same. The, wait, the, the, this is a series, right? I, record of Lodos War? Part, yeah. It was in my it's wish a, list, uh, so clearly I've... A, buy it. It's been in early access forever. It's been in my wish list because of early access, so... Um, but Record of Lodos War is like a, like an anime series. Oh, well, it's like it's like a multi series. It's like an anime and like a manga and a novel, and it was all based around like a D and D campaign. It's it's a fucking trip. It's been around for like thirty years, I think. Record of Lodos War. Original run April tenth, nineteen eighty eight. That's a day after my birthday, but I wasn't born until four years after. So I guess oh. it technically wasn't my birthday back then. Because I wasn't birthed yet. My mom didn't poop me out. <laughs> God, man. I, I feel like you start sentences without knowing how they're going to finish them. <laughs> Honestly, the most relatable quote in the office is when Michael Scott says, sometimes I start a sentence and I don't know where I'm going or whatever the fuck he says. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how you said it's the most memorable quote and you paraphrase it. <laughs> that was my favorite quote because it was just so relatable. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's funny. But now, Record of Lodos War looks cool. Like a Symphony of the Night inspired game. I like it. I like Symphony of the Night. Yeah, plus um, it says, why so serious? Like in uh, Batman. What else have these guys made? Because like, I've never heard of them. Um, oh, okay. Oh, They've done Toho games. Uh, I'm not really into Toho games. I'm into Toho Dojins, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> no. Needy Toho Girl Toho. Overdose. <laughs> what is this? Foster a girl with a need for approval and an internet obsession. Turn this messed up overdosey oh, heroin. Well, I'm going to groom the... <laughs> This is a grooming game. <laughs> That's exactly what this is. <laughs> and I'm fucking down, dude. I'm about to buy this. Coming soon? It's not realistic, though. You're not a Discord mod, so I don't know how realistic it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to become popular YouTube for being awkward. I'll be the next Call Me Carson following his footsteps. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <Help>. <laughs> 
God, we we went down a rabbit hole, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss that guy. <laughs> oh my God. Um, what else we got? We got a Neptunia Virtual Stars coming out on PC March 29th. These games I've are trash. never played. Yeah, dude, I've never played any of them. I, you know, not... okay, you know what? Let me, let me. They're good games. Okay, but they're trash. And why are there so many of them? Because oh, you know why? Oh, you fucking know why, dude? I mean, look at fucking, this. It's just a generic game with cute girls. It's like why I play exactly. Gotcha games. That's why I spent thousands of dollars on gotcha games just so I can get a JPEG of a cute girl. Yeah, exactly. Um, these games are they're, they're okay games, but once you play one, you've played them all. Oh, look at this bullshit! Oh, there's a rhythm thing in this game. No, it's shitty rhythm. It's not even fucking. Oh, this is trash. <laughs> Impact has a this game is trash. Rhythm. The RPGs yeah. are good. The RPGs in oh, this franchise are good. Okay, what the fuck do they do? This this is third person shooter. They're fucking ice skating around. Yeah, you're right. This game's shit. This game's shit. The RPGs or are good. It- but you That's only funny. you only need to play one of the RPG games. What is that? Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet? I play that. My game was pretty good. You shoot in that game. <laughs> you can shoot in Call of Duty too. Does that make Call of Duty yeah, good? Yeah, well, Call of Duty's first person shooter. I want to play a third person <laughs> shooter where I can look at the cute anime girl I'm playing as. So you can see <laughs> up their skirts. It's not about looking up their skirts. Yes, it is. What dude. About? Because when you try to flip the model, they censor it. It's about looking into their hearts. Okay, which is up their skirt. Yeah, I was going to say. If that's where you want to search first, then <laughs> maybe you'll find it there. That's even you if start. you don't find it, even if you don't find it, I mean, it's all about the journey, not the destination. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, disagree. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's a problem. You're starting like with their heart. We're starting through their vaginas, so the if, journey's uh, automatically funner for us. In the in the season finale of ReZero, he said it's not about the beginning. Super said it's not about the beginning or middle, about the end. So that was the first time I hear I heard someone say that because Miley Cyrus said. It's about go, all about go the on. Climb. <laughs> Miley Cyrus said it's all about the climb. Oh, okay. Remember that song, The Climb? No. no it must, uh, must, must have been the B side. It was from the Hannah Montana movie. Didn't you watch that in theaters? Oh, no. I didn't get the opportunity. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, Disco Elysium. Yep, that's coming out March 30th. Uh, PC, PS4, PS5, and Stadia. It's the uh, the final cut. That means they're not allowed to release this game anymore. And we talked about it a little bit like last week, right? Like they said, they're announcing like new story beats, some new voice acting. Which voice cool. acting, period. Like it, it didn't have any. Oh, it didn't before. have it at all? Okay. Yeah. Who needs like- voice acting? I don't know. I, I I feel like this when it has like a lot of dialogue like this. I just don't want to. I feel wanna like it. I feel like either they need to do it really good and hire expensive people, or don't do it at all. They made their money. They didn't do it, and then made their money, and then hired expensive people. Did it, yeah, nice like William Willem Dafoe. Not William. It's just Willem. I know that. <laughs> Oh, we also got uh, Evil Genius 2 World Dominations coming out that day, too. I've never play played the... the yeah, me neither. i never played any of the Evil Genius games. So if you're into that, March 30th. And uh, Kingdom Hearts is Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, we're getting all the Kingdom Hearts games coming out. We got Kingdom Hearts HD 1.15. Yeah, fucking Melody of fucking Memory. Thing. Melody Kingdom of Memory, Hearts though. Hearts. Wasn't that only on, like... Did that hit everything? I thought they, they were on like they everything but Xbox. Was on, on Switch, Switch and PS4. The okay. other month. Yeah. Do I need to download this game too? Um, Dude, Rock is, is eating ice cream with <laughs> Axel in. This game is $60, man. Yeah, dude. I, that's why I didn't pick it up. 
Who doesn't have crazy. sixty dollars? That's not the point. It's the principle. This game's like two, three years old. I mean, it's two, three years old. This game's old as shit. You go to all the different worlds. <laughs> You unlock new songs. Like, uh, imagine you're playing Kingdom Hearts 2, right? But every world is the Little Mermaid world. <laughs> that sounds terrible. That sounds like a yeah. nightmare. <laughs> it does the worst thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot Ugh. that. I forgot about that in Kingdom Hearts 2. I, I try to forget it every time I play Kingdom Hearts 2. It's awful. Honestly, I preferred it. To fucking Kingdom Hearts one, like I don't like underwater actually swimming, swimming around. Yeah, I don't know. I thought that was fine, but yeah, yeah. I preferred that over the fucking musical stuff in Kingdom Hearts two. Well, because I I, I don't like shitty rhythm games. Okay, yeah, I like good rhythm, this not shitty rhythm. Good r- no, this Dude, is take on fucking rhythm game boss battles. You can fucking. Melissa this is better. Said, this is better than fucking the shitty like Miku games. Look at, that. look at all these shots of Kyrie, dude. If you're into Kyrie, <laughs> she's like 14, dog. What? Huh? She's like 14. No, she's not. Yeah, she is. Yeah, but she's voiced by Hayden Pentier, so just... that's great. Then have a crush oh, on Hayden Pentier. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. Yeah. Um. Okay. That's Kingdom Hearts. He was yeah. born. What the fuck is this? K pop? No, they're, they're at least 18 now. Okay, am I going to have to Google this now? <laughs> is that like what we're doing? <laughs> no, because in the, in the original game, they were like. She's 15 during the events of Kingdom Hearts 2. Which means during the events of Kingdom Hearts three, probably sixteen. No, they like had it like they had a huge like age bump. I think. Oh, so older than sixteen. I think so. I played the games, and Kingdom Hearts three takes place like right after two. Oh really? Okay, it takes well. after, yeah. right after Dream Drop Distance, which which is right after two. Right after two. <laughs> so yeah, they are all still fifteen. <laughs> You know, she has new clothes and she looks a little bit older, so she's probably 15 and a half. So it's grooming age. Well, she's probably a little too old for that. <laughs> Especially after everything she's been through. You can't groom someone like that. Yeah, I guess you would know. Huh? <laughs> not oh, I just thought you were speaking from experience one. there. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got Narita Boy coming out, too. On everything. This is all that matters, really. Yeah. Then March 31st, we got the new Binding of Isaac expansion, uh, Repentance. Actually, that matters, too. Yeah, I forgot that that. coming out. I don't know, dude. I suck at Binding of Isaac. That's fine. I did until, like... I don't know. Once you get one really good run, everything just kind of just That's the thing. You just gotta get a good run. And you play with mods, too. I, I only play with mods now. Like there's oh, mods that tell you what like all the items do before you pick them up. Well, part of the fun is like discovering it, but well, part of like the not fun is picking something up and then all of a sudden you're shooting fucking diagonally and it's like okay now <laughs> I can't shoot straight so because you didn't know what it did before you picked it up. Hey man, it's okay if you don't shoot straight. That's just your lifestyle. <laughs> Um, April 1st, we got Outriders coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, are we going to talk about that? Game Pass. Uh, it's, yeah, for console. What? Yeah. No, it's, what? It's not on PC Game Pass. It's not on PC Game Pass? Not nope. on PC. Why not? Because uh, Microsoft didn't let them do it. I don't know. I guess because they know that no one will buy the game if it's on PC. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> <laughs> At least this but way yeah. you can hold it ransom. Also, RE7 is coming out for Stadia. If you like, still have a Stadia. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the only good ways to play uh, Cyberpunk for a while. 
probably still is. Well, that or PC. It works on PC, doesn't it? Yeah, but you have to like build like a a god PC just to play it properly. Mm, that's fair. And uh, I think that's everything. Yep, that's everything. Yeah, it seems like. I guess that's it. Any uh, any last minute thoughts? Uh, if you want tips on grooming, you know, head up Uncle Dolph. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hit up call me Carson. Better at it. I want to fall in his footsteps. Uh, again, uh, Sabi, we're going to be streaming. Um, yeah, don't groom. Even you if they any... look really hot. Oh my god. You couldn't just leave it nice. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, keep an eye open. Uh, you know, hit us up on Discord. You know, we always respond to everybody. And uh, keep an eye open this Tuesday. Sabi and I are going to be playing uh, It Takes Two. So that'll, that'll be fun. Yep. GamerRest.com, GamerRest.com slash Discord, GamerRest.com slash Twitch, GamerRest.com slash YouTube. Uh, if you want to watch the Stubbs the Zombie that I was playing earlier, that's on there. Um, probably so, don't you know, want to watch that. No. You probably don't, don't want to watch it. Um, but um, yeah, uh, I want to say uh, sorry to everyone who had to endure this episode uh this was a train wreck but you know what you know what (laughs) you're welcome i'm sorry you're sorry whatever (laughs) i'm not sorry i was a good boy (laughs) this is fun all right yeah that's gonna do it thanks bye bye (laughs) matinee